Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage. Hey everyone, Veronica Belmont here at CES Unveiled at CES 2012. And I'm joined right now by Ed McNearney, who's the CTO of OLPC, and you're showing off today your new prototype of the tablet version. These are our pre-production XO3 tablets. Uh, it's an eight-inch tablet. We're pretty excited about it. Uh, it comes with the, sort of the same design that we've always uh, focused on young children, education, accessibility, and friendliness, and we think it's a lot of fun. And the chips that are inside are Marvell? The main processor is a Marvell ARM system on chip, the Armada 610. Power is really, 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 really important to us, and low power consumption is has been a goal right from day one. Moving to ARM from our x86 heritage has really allowed us to drop to a very, very low power point. What are some of the main advantages to using a tablet as opposed to your soon-to-come netbooks and also the standard OLPC? Um, well, the standard OLPC is still a pretty popular device, and for a, a lot of environments, for classroom environments and that sort of thing, the laptops are going to be around for a really long time. Uh, the tablet is great because it's so friendly and approachable. You have it, you can just say, wait, I want to take a picture, I want to do something. It's very easy, it's very kid-friendly, there's no, uh, you know, manipulation to get it ready to use to do something and we think it's really a lot more inviting for kids. It really changes the interaction experience in, a, in an important way. For someone who's not familiar with OLPC, can you give us a brief rundown? Sure. We were founded about five or six years ago as an effort to create what was then called the hundred dollar laptop to try to create a laptop that was affordable, low power, low cost and rugged for children in the least developed countries of the world. We've now shipped two and a half million of those laptops uh, to date. Uh, haven't quite gotten the price down to $100, but we're still trying. And this is a natural successor to that effort. We've done three versions of the laptop so far, and this is our first tablet. So when do you think that this prototype is going to become a reality? Well, this is a pre-production device. It's ready to move into production as soon as somebody wants to buy them in volume. We're not a commercial vendor. About everything we do is different from the way everybody else does it and we don't build up warehouses full of tablets and hope that somebody's going to buy them. So we're ready to go, we're talking to a lot of the countries, a lot of the organizations that have worked with us in the past, and all we need is someone to say, we want to make this happen in volume and we can, we can get it going. Fantastic. Thank you so much. Great, thanks. At CES 2012, I'm Veronica Belmont. For more videos, head over to revision3.com slash CES. Hey, with Sync Services, you can use the power of your voice to stay in control of your Ford-focused driving experience. You can even use Sync to get the current weather report for where you are or where you're going. Weather. Weather. At 3.50 p.m., it's 52 degrees with a slight breeze. Sync Services makes it happen. All while you can keep your hands on the wheel and your eyes on the road. Thanks to Ford for powering our CES coverage.